hi guys welcome to today's session in today's session we will learn how we can integrate algolia with bu bubble so uh, to start with uh, you need to have a algolia account which is free of cost you can sign up with an algolia the moment you come to algolia you will land into this dashboard now what we need to do is we need to create an application first so here from application you can click on create application let's give a name as Rhino code we can go for a free version and then we can go to the next step which is the data center so since we are based out in India we have a India as a data center and you can either select UK Europe US so we'll select the India as a data center and then we have a this and we'll click on red and we will create application okay once the application is created we can go to the API Can go to the API can go to the settings we can look at the API key this is a, this application application ID is this we'll go to our bubble editor app journal here Enable search with Algolia. We'll enable this. I already had one, so I'll just replicate this with the new one. We'll copy the new key and then we'll copy the new admin key. So you can see your key is valid. Uh, this should be deployed production in order to use the Algolia in a production as well. Now, what we need to do is uh, we'll go to our data. I have one this data with the name of all bhav copies. We have some 2224 record. We have some data. Uh, what I will do, I'll just add one or two description just to see. Uh, this is amazing. awesome okay. now what we need to do is we need to go to privacy and we need to trigger algolia re-index so uh, by default it won't be checked but the moment we check it will come and now we can trigger algolia re-index let's press on this uh, we'll take the bhav copy since the data is in test only so we'll only do the test part and then we'll say start indexing it will take a couple of seconds it started zero percent let's go to api record and see we got some data here So we can say some 2,202 record has come. This is also 100% done. Now we'll close this. We'll create a new page just for testing. Search Algolia and we create it. Now 
let's build a two scenarios one is where we have a normal search box when we do a normal search for we have a dynamic choice list of option is let's say bhav copy and field to search we can only define one of the fields so let's say symbol now I'll just copy paste this here and here now you can see instead of dynamic there is one more option called search for Algolia so here we say Algolia search just to differentiate define list of options we can say bhav copy field of inquiry we can say any field so this means I can search from any field now let's bring two repeating group one is here so we'll link with bhav copy let's search for bhav copy where symbol is equal to a search box a value symbol and then let's say we populate I'll just replicate this here I'll delete this and then we will either do a simple Algolia search for type half copy field any field and then we want to see first item of let's say symbol we're getting an error let's see what this error is query uh, you can either or single one this way okay let's give a try we'll click on preview now I'll just type let's say reliance I can search I got reliance I got a reliance here also okay I just click on this now let's say I do a reliance here so search is not okay, let me see why it is not working search with Algolia any field Let's see here. It is triggered. You can see the data here. Okay, we can see the data also. Okay, field to display, let's say. So we get the field to display as this. Let's say we take a data. go to data and let's say we copy this yes. now the moment we put here it's taking all the this but it is showing me the field which is related to this now the moment I say magic taking this this is magic just taking this
So see whatever I'm searching. It's getting search and let's pick an example. This I have to remove. So as you can see, uh, it gives us a very dynamic, you can search using different options and even let's say if I search 1037, it gives me certain options which are related to it. It could be 10, it could be 37, it could be just 7. So, but what is the closest match? It is showing me this and when I select this, it gives me this result. So I hope you are uh, able to understand the flow and uh, how we can integrate Algolia. You can do a lot. But this is just a one gist or one example of what we can do. Thank you so much.